I woke up today and got on a plane leaving Kansas City. It's May 15th, 6 a.m., and I'm flying to Chico, California to see my grandmother. And from there, I fly to Michigan to see my little sister. Oba, my grandmother, turned 82 and decided to sell her house and move into her retirement home. My sister, Phoebe, on the other hand, will graduate high school in two weeks. She's 17. On the surface, these two ladies couldn't be more different from each other. And yet, they're both depressed. All the time. Depression isn't rainy day malaise either. No, it's the kind that lingers forever, like bad airplane turbulence. And as I sit, rocking in my small chair 3,000 feet above sea level, I realize both Oba and Phoebe are about to make big transitions. Transitions that may change the course of their life while I'm there. So stay with me. This is Oba. She took the picture herself. She's a doctor of psychology and former vice provost. Sorry, it was locked. It wasn't locked on my side. I have underneath me. Oh, a candy ball. When I arrived in Chico, Oba asked me how to turn off the TV. She said she's lost the remote and didn't know what to do. I should also add, my mom tells me she's been depressed for a while, but I don't know why. Look at that. When I wake up the next morning, we drive over to the retirement home so she can spend her first night in the new place. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty nervous. I don't know what she thinks of the small living quarters. I don't want her to be overwhelmed with all the change. But the size doesn't seem to bother her. What bothers her more is she doesn't know where she is. On Wednesday, after dinner, she asks me, where are we? And I have to remind her, we're in your new home, Oba. And even though my mom has been pushing for this move, Oba's obviously been putting it off for a while. Every day there's so much to do, I'm basically in over my head. And on Thursday, when the movers come, I tell them to basically throw stuff away and move the rest into storage. Uh, keep it. Actually, I don't know, maybe pack up all of those. Is that cool? On Friday, Oba doesn't want to do anything at all. I ask her why, but she mumbles she's just kind of depressed. So I hang up with paintings and move on. But this is also part of the reason why we're moving to her retirement home. It's a big transition, and I understand why she's sad about leaving but she was set in the house before she left. Everyone's kind of hoping this big move will boost her out of her depressive mode. On Saturday, when it's not clear that the movers will come back and remove the boxes, she asked me where we are again. Where are my glasses? You just had them. You just took them. And I realize her memory really is worse than a few years ago. Part of the problem is I think she knows it too, and this just depresses her more. Now where do you want your slider? On the weekend, we go to see a neurologist about the memory loss and depression. But once again, they don't know what's wrong. Part of me thinks that's rubbish. She lives alone, no spouse, no dog. And when we walk around the terraces, it reminds me a lot of a dorm. So if it is loneliness, maybe this move will help her a lot. At the same time, halfway across the country, my sister's graduating high school. So now I go to Michigan. Yeah, totally so this is my little sister. She's the kind of person who gets into Princeton and then doesn't want to tell anyone. But beyond that, she didn't even want to have a party. She told me no one would come. That's Phoebe for you. We had it anyway. People came. Part of what makes this story so frustrating on the Phoebe end is that she's depressed. And so deeply unhappy all the time. You're enjoying yourself? Yes. It's not really her fault. No doctor can figure out why either. But like Goba, she's basically alone. Few friends, and my other sister and I are gone. We're all hoping college will be a big, fresh start. Sometimes when you have your whole life ahead of you still, no career or family of your own, it can be pretty hard to know what you're doing in life. Like, what's your purpose? Probably not his house. <laughs> I wonder if part of that's the problem. The funny thing is, it's the opposite of Oba. But after being out in Chico, I'm starting to realize when most of your life is behind you, it can be just as hard to find purpose and meaning as it was when you were really young. It's two weeks now, and I'm ready to go home. I will tell you it feels odd sitting in the same building I graduated in, and now watching my sister go through the same thing. Even sitting in my old seat it makes me wonder if someone will eventually have to move me into a retirement home some grandchild I have yet to have. Either way, it's hard not to compare both worlds, Oba and Phoebe. They're on opposite ends, yet still so similar, both moving, making transitions, trying to escape, in essence, the same problem. I don't know, maybe I like to think life is linear, but now I'm not so certain. But today's not about me. How does it feel to be graduated?
<laughs> That's it. Yeah, I mean, it's what I need to come here to. So we'll see what happens. I feel a little bit like Carl Sandburg, watching them each struggle under the terrible burden of destiny. <laughs> <laughs>